What's going on guys, Blinkfro here, and today I'm bringing you the next week, week 5 of my UCLA Bruins Online Dynasty, the YouTube Online Dynasty. And if you remember last week, we came away with a win over Oregon State in some BS fashion to move on to 3-1. and one. So hopefully this week we can move on to 4-1. and one. And I took a look at the standings, um, and we're just about the same as where we were last week, uh, somewhere around like 46th in the nation. And there were a couple upsets this week. I might as well tell you that now because I don't show it in the video except for one of them. And I'm not talking about any user upsets. I'm talking about just CPU versus CPU games. Uh, you'll see one of them in the video. And there was a couple of them uh, that I didn't show, obviously, because I didn't show it while I was playing. Um, but here we go. Uh, we're going up against Colorado Buffaloes. I think that's their full team name, right? Colorado Buffaloes. And, and I do find that a little funny how that guy just fall, uh, you know, fell off. Uh, lost his hold on the buffalo, and this was a really crappy kick. I don't know what went on there. Uh, I kept flicking the stick, and it wasn't working. I don't, I don't know. Uh, so that was a little embarrassing. So here's the only up upset I'm showing this game. Washington beat Stanford 29 to 26. So that's pretty sweet, and that was a Pac-12 game. So that'll help us out in the uh, Pac-12 standings, uh, since we are perfect so far. Because I think we only played one game. I think we're one and zero. And, uh, yeah, we're just going to give the ball to Jonathan Franklin. Colorado got nothing on their first drive, uh, thankfully, off that really crappy punt. And I was feeling it this game. I was like, hey, that's how we're going to start off the game, a really crappy punt, make a good uh, stand on defense, and then we're going to come out with a bang with a run. That's pretty nice. So third and three, Kevin Prince dropping back. He's going to hit Marbury over the middle, but he is not going to hold on to it. So Colorado's got the ball. They pick up a first down, their first first down of the game. Uh, they're looking to try to be the first one to put points up on the board. Uh, Wood's going to drop back, hit Spruce, and uh, we're going to get a face mask call. So that was kind of a face palm moment there. Uh, so they're going to get 15 yards and an automatic first down. Uh, so here on about the 50-yard line, Goodson's going to run this one up the middle. Get stopped one yard short of the first down marker. He's going to get the ball again. And we're going to make a nice stop there for a four-yard loss. Third and five, Wood dropping back, giving it to Goldston on the draw play. And look at this, he fumbles the ball, and luckily we pick it up. That's the linebacker there. So we got the ball back. Uh, that's one turnover for Colorado. And uh, here on the option play, Kevin Prince is taking it himself. And I was trying to give that to Jonathan Franklin there, because that would have been a huge gain, but it just wasn't allowing me to do that. And another good run by Jonathan Franklin. So, so far, our run game is pretty sweet, it's doing pretty well, and we get sacked on a play-action pass, so third and 16, we're dropping back once again, and we're going to get sacked two plays in a row, so we're going to have to punt that one away to Colorado. So, Woods dropping back, he's going to go to the right-hand side, and that was a horrible pass, straight to the cornerback, Hester, and you know, Hester, he's going to take this one to the house to put us up 7-0 after the extra point. Uh, so that's pretty crappy for Colorado. Really good for us. And look, it can't get much easier than that. That is just an easy pick. Horrible pass by the quarterback, Wood. So on their next drive, Wood's going to the left-hand side, hitting McCulloch. And uh, yeah, he's going to fumble this one. We strip the ball. And the linebacker, Larry Moore, is going to go ahead and pick that one up. So back-to-back -back turnovers on back-to-back -back plays for Colorado. Not very good for them. And we're going to hit Jonathan Franklin over the middle. And he's going to get stopped short one yard. Uh, shy of the first down marker and on third down we're going QB sneak with Kevin Prince and we're going to pick up the first down there to keep the drive moving. Keep the chains going. Um, Kevin Prince dropping back. He's going to hit Joseph Fourier. He's going to get dropped down about two or three yards short of the goal line. Uh, and we're just going to toss this one out to Jonathan Franklin. He's going to outrun all the defenders and find the way into the end zone there. So we're up 14-0 over Colorado. Uh, Woods dropping back, hitting his wide receiver Spruce, who I believe had the best game for them. Uh, here, second and four. Woods going to throw another horrible pass straight to Abbott, uh, our star cornerback there, uh, or the safety. I can't remember. I think he's a cornerback. Uh, so we were just going to keep giving it to Jonathan Franklin. Uh, shedding off a tackle there. My eyes kind of lit up on that one, but we got stopped before we could keep things going. And you guys can probably hear a train in the background. Uh, I think you might have heard this in one of my previous commentaries. Uh, but this train, it comes by like every night. And you're going to hear it for just a little bit. So here on 3rd and 6, I make a horrible throw. Luckily, we don't get it picked off. And we're going to have to settle for a field goal to go up 17-0 over Colorado. Uh, so the most we've ever scored in one game was last week, 29. But on average, we score less than 20 a game. And we almost have 20 by the end of the half. Uh, so this is a really good game for us. Um, I would say an offensive explosion, but... 
our defense has been stepping it up. And Woodhead all day in the pocket, and he's going to just hit uh, the receiver, Casa, there. And uh, here on second and five, Woods dropping back once again. He's going to the right-hand side, and this one's going to get picked off by Sermons. Three interceptions. Three. Count them three. And two fumbles. That is five turnovers in the first half for Colorado. And we're up 24 to nothing, and it's not even halftime. So that is really, really embarrassing for them, and a horrible throw by Wood. Uh, so we're going to get the ball back with 150, wow, 130 left in the half. Uh, Joseph Fourier with the catch there, one yard short of the first down marker. Second and one, we're calling for a pass, and Kevin Prince is just going to take this one himself. He does have some nice speed in this game, and I haven't been using it the first couple games. Uh, the first game I really scrambled was against Pronto, and uh, I've kind of learned from that that he can actually run, so I've been running with him quite a bit. Uh, and Jonathan Franklin, another good run there, uh, getting annihilated on the tackle to pick up a first down, and Kevin Prince optioned. Uh, pitch over to John from Franklin gets a good block my eyes also kind of lit up on that one but we get stopped before we can make anything else out of it second and goal I couldn't really find anyone I didn't know what to do I was thinking about scrambling and eventually eventually I just give the jo Joseph Fourier which was kind of a bad decision but he catches it and we get a face mask call so we get an automatic first down and it stops the clock uh, not like we really need the clock to stop because there's still 13 seconds left. And the backup running back, Malcolm Jones, he finds the end zone. It didn't really look like it. So at halftime, we're winning 31 to nothing over Colorado. Uh, so this is just looking like a blowout. It's looking like this is going to be an easy W for us. And I was just, I was loving this game. It was a lot of fun. Kevin Prince picks up another first down there. Uh, because my first four games were a struggle the entire time. And this one, you know, I could just kind of re relax, do my own thing, run the ball. And look at this deep pass to Jerry Rice Jr. Whenever he's in the game, he makes a huge difference, but he's never really in the game for too much. He's maybe in for five snaps a game, uh, but he makes the most out of it. And Joseph Fourier gets the touchdown reception there to put us up 38 to nothing over Colorado, so they're really looking to just get some points up. Uh, they know they've pretty much lost, and they just don't want to get further embarrassed. Uh, they pick up another first down there, and that was a fail of a tackle on my part. I kind of just ran past him. First and ten. Wood dropping back, which I'm surprised is still in the game because he has three interceptions. I don't even know if the computer uh, takes them out, but that is a very nice catch, just barely making it inbounds uh, for the first down. And here they're going to hit another good reception there and get another good pass. Third and one, Wood dropping back, and he's actually going to find his receiver for a touchdown. So Colorado finally gets on the board uh, with just a little bit left in the third. So we're up 38-7. to seven. Jonathan Franklin with another good run there. Just beasting up this game. 81 yards on 16 rushes. 5 yards per attempt. And one touchdown. Um, I still can't believe I haven't given the ball more than that. But we're just going to give it to him once again. Pick up another first down. And he's already got close to 100 yards on the game. Second and 12. Play action. Kevin Prince scrambling once again. Wide open middle of the field. And just going to slide down on that one. And once again, the slide, you just tap X or you tap square if you're on PlayStation. Uh, don't hold it, because if you hold it, you'll dive, and you'll more than likely fumble the ball. So here, third and two, Kevin Prince. He's going to hit the wide receiver, I think, Marvre over the middle, and he's going to get brought down at the five or the four. Uh, so it's looking like we're going to put up another touchdown this time around. And Jerry Rice Jr. right there getting a touchdown reception. Like I said, he's not in the game too often, but when he is... He makes huge plays there, and we're at 45-7, to seven, so we've pretty much sealed the deal there. Another good pass by Colorado, finally. Uh, but it's a little too late, you know, they're making their push just a little too late, and there's going to be a holding call here. I'm going to decline it, uh, which I should have accepted it, because they're going for it on 4th. It could have been like 3rd and 20, but uh, it's 4th and 2, but luckily we do get the stop, and we get the ball back with 5.30 left in the game. And at this point, I put in the second team offense and defense, except for Jonathan Franklin. He's the only starter uh, out of both sides of the ball that I kept in. And Jerry Rice Jr., another good reception there. Uh, Jerry Rice Jr. actually gets some good playing time because he is on the second team. And I still need to look at the depth chart. And that was a good shed tackle right there, passing it to Jonathan Franklin for a first down. But I still got to take a look at the depth chart. I didn't realize he was a junior, and I would really like him to play, so I might fix that next week. Uh, and that was just a horrible pass on third down, so we're going to settle for a field goal. But it would be nice to have um, Jerry Rice up ahead of maybe Marbury, because uh, he's a lot better, it seems like, because whenever Jerry Rice Jr. is in, he makes huge plays. 
Um, but Colorado is trying to put up some more points before the end of the game. Second and one. Good blocking is going to give Goodson a first down there. 2.30 left in the game. Goodson's going to get the ball again. Uh, but he's going to get stopped six yards short of the first down marker. And then there would be a false start. So it's going to be third and nine. And we stop Goodson before he can cross the first down marker. So we get the ball back. And we're pretty much just looking to run the ball and just run the clock out. But Jonathan Franklin gets another good run right there. Uh, and I think it's going to be definitely over 100 yards on this game so far. And another good run there by Jonathan Franklin. Uh, two back-to-back -back first down runs. And now the backup James. I think he's the third string James. Gets the ball here. Only picks up about six yards or five yards. And that's going to end up end the game there. We come away with the win, what, 45-7, to seven, so a huge victory for UCLA, 48-7, uh, to seven, my bad. Uh, I don't even know how many points we scored, and Colorado's just not too happy there. Uh, they were 3-1 and one entering this game, as were we, but we're going to go to 4-1, and one, and they're going to go to 3-2. and two. And Kevin Prince, player of the game, which is a sigh of relief, kind of, because uh, he's had some horrible games the past four games with some interceptions. But he gets two touchdowns, no interceptions. To bring his total to eight touchdowns and eight interceptions on the season, uh, hopefully we can get a ton more in or touchdowns than interceptions by the end of the season. Uh, but like I said, Wood just had a horrible game. Uh, and you're just taking a look at the stats there. They didn't run the ball too much because they were constantly down. And Jonathan Franklin, 131 yards on the game. Jerry Rice Jr., 76 yards on three receptions and one touchdown. Told you he's a beast, uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching and tune in next time.